there's a power that supersedes every other power. That power transforms simple things into powerful weapons. The awesomeness and the mystery of the power in the blood of Jesus. It is a prayer that brings deliverance and protection. Here's some of the things that the pleading of the blood of Jesus does. Number one, it gives protection before adversity strikes. It serves as prevention. Praise God, as I saw that there may be trouble ahead, I immediately remembered, wait a minute, I've got to plead the blood of Jesus. So what did I do? I pled the blood of Jesus over me, my truck, and over my family. And uh, you know what? I didn't have any problems. I made it home today. But I think the enemy could have been planning something for me today. You never know when he may be planning something for you, trying to set you up in an accident, trying to cause you bodily harm. And so before the enemy can strike, plead the blood of Jesus. Give you protection. It serves as a preventive measure. Number two, give phys- it gives physical healing in the body. No matter what name is given to any problem, it will be solved when the blood of Jesus is brought in. Amen. If you keep pleading the blood of Jesus, no matter how terrible an infirmity is, it will disappear by the power in the blood of Jesus. If your life is pure and you lay hands on, on any sickness, pleading the blood of Jesus, it will vanish. You might wonder if it really is as simple as that, but that is the power in the blood of Jesus. The power in pleading the blood of Jesus is yet to be understood by man. Some people criticize those that plead the blood of Jesus. It is because they have not passed through the valley, so they cannot know what it means. Someone who has never been tortured by a terminal disease cannot know what it means to be threatened by death. So he or she cannot understand why a cancer patient is praying fervently for healing, or why the person is jubilating after he or she has been miraculously healed. The blood of Jesus cannot dry up, neither can it lose its power. Therefore, you can plead it a million times a day if you want to. The more you plead the blood of Jesus, the more the chance of totally submerging the disease in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Many Christians do not understand the power and the use of the weapons that God has given us against the enemy. Unbelievers could be sitting throughout the night chanting incantations or reciting things against you. Going to uh, number three. Pleading the blood of Jesus brings emotional healing. Number four, it gives mental healing. Number five, it helps in battling dark powers. Number six, it helps in battling the adversary. Number seven, I like this one too, gives financial healing. If you stand in front of your shop or house and plead the blood of Jesus every day, you will find out that the powers of darkness in that environment will dissipate. Amen. You feel fear in your house? You you feel like there's something wrong? Just start pleading the blood of Jesus over your house, over yourself. He goes on to write, as we are moving toward the end times, we need to plead the blood of Jesus all the time. There's a lot of tragedy and disaster all over the place. Too many Christians are being robbed or cheated or raped or murdered. Many are being hypnotized and confused. Pleading the blood of Jesus will give you immunity against these things. Number eight, pleading the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sins. Jesus came to die for the sins of the world, and his blood was shed for us. You can claim the cleansing power in his blood, and God will open up a new chapter in your life. We're reading from a book called Praying by the Blood of Jesus. Let me take a swig of my tea here. You can plead the blood of Jesus over any and everything, your spirit, your soul, and your body. Plead the blood of Jesus over your house, your car, your work, your children, your spouse, your business, as a form of protection or prevention against evil. You can plead the blood of Jesus over your journey, the road, the vehicle, or aircraft, etc. If you're living or passing through a dangerous zone, you can draw a bloodline of protection, therefore making a boundary against any evil. 